It's the Mincel Intel. If you couldn't F Intel, and how we got bewitched by the Kirk Min spell, it just doesn't sit well. This should have happened sooner. Minna fans get 80 shows, keep on laughing, boomers. It's time for the. We're here to discuss your surrender, not mine. I imagine it's difficult. Your reign is over. My reign has just begun. Jesus, and now we see the light. Don't need a Steve or Mike just to make the evening right. We're bringing new school to YouTube, and we keep it live. It's the Mint Cell Intel. Mint Cell Intel. It's the Mint Cell Intel. It's the Mint Cell Intel. It's the Mint Cell Intel. 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 Welcome, everybody. Um, hope you like that intro. We got a little bit of the dragon. Um, I'm going to introduce my co-host here. First person I'm going to bring in is my boy, B.A. How are you? How are hey, uh, what's it going? What's going on there, bud? Not much, you know, just living the dream day by day. Yeah, just you and everybody, right? You and at oh, everyone. Yeah. Just yeah, at everyone, <laughs> at Jimmy, at Gooch, we got it. Uh, and we're going to also bring in uh, the dragon, Phil. Sorry, that that at everyone joke had me laughing. <laughs> BA, BA added me. We'll get this later, but BA added me many times last night. Many, many times. Well, I, hey, I was hey. saying this. I was saying this before you got on, Phil. But uh, you know, BA is a good guy because he always, no matter what, once a week he gets drunk enough to tell you how he really feels. So. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> me, me. there's no there's no doubt there. You, you, you get, he gets everything across. You'll we're find out. Somebody, somebody talked a lot about last night, actually, uh, talking a lot of shit about our producer, best producer in the business, William Cheap Minahan. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't. Wa I, I didn't watch. I 
I watched a little bit of it, but I didn't catch the shit talking <laughs> about me. Actually, my, my dad told me about the shit talking about me. He's like, what's that all about? And I'm like, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Hey, um, so guys, we have a pretty uh pretty special guest today. Again, we're kind of just getting uh getting some guests for you uh week by week here. So we're not we, gonna uh, we reached out to this guest actually. Yeah, we didn't reach out to us. Yeah, this was this was a guest that I actually reached out to uh we reached out to them rather than the other way around, Steve. Um, but we're pretty excited about it. But uh let's get into our first ad read, um, Phil, the ad reader. Yes. Oh, yeah. So Mincel Intel episode eight is brought to you by deconstructing the Minifan discord. Deconstructing the Minifan discord is the latest podcast from the Miniverse. Inspector J from fan favorite J and off takes you inside the fan base platform where all things Minifan are discussed 24 hours, seven days a week. <laughs> Kirk ventures inside the discord on a regular basis. You won't get listener interaction anywhere else like this. You can currently find episode two, the latest episode to, to have dropped, uh, which actually yeah. dropped today on Spotify, Stitcher, Buzzsprout, and soon to drop on Apple Podcasts. Shout out yeah. to TJ. Wow. So let's bring our wow. special guest, TJ Hubbard, and wow. anonymous <laughs> minister. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Looks like I have a bad case of herpy. <laughs> I got a bad case of the herp. Fuck. But guess what? I'm packing. Uh, I am a hammer. <laughs> Looking good, bro. I am. Oh, there, he is. there we go, yeah. buddy. What's going on? What's going on? So oh, we gosh. thought uh we thought after the uh the the debacle of everything going on this week and it going down to obviously mid shells versus old G Man fans like week by week and fight by fight, everything is broken down to uh we thought bringing on an OG Mina fan who uh who like us doesn't doesn't see it that way. So we welcome TJ Hubbard. What's up, buddy? Everything going good? Yeah, everything's going good. COVID free. Good. Good. COVID nice. free. <laughs> nice. So, so. Well, I mean, that's really actually the most important thing here. Um, so first thing, obviously, Phil, we're gonna get into this first. Uh Phil had a pretty hot week this week. Um, it was something that was brought up on the show. As usual. Um, as usual, we uh, <laughs> were in the mud. As usual, we're in the mud week by week. Uh we had that one little week where we got zonker and everybody liked us for a second, but we're back in the mud and um we're kind of I'm gonna break down this fight a little bit what went down and uh see what tj has to say and us and we have to say about it so um phil you kind of just want to describe give me a, give me a quick uh rundown of what happened and then and then tj if we have any comments about it uh yeah so uh blob or b lobe as i like to say uh he <laughs> sort of just kind of he, he was just posting like screenshots of stuff we were sending on discord and it wasn't like anything direct but i just went back in him because he was it was it was shit we we're just shit on each other just some banter on twitter um, and that went on for a little bit and below, you know, he's the guy who doesn't like to back down. Neither do I. I don't like to back down either. Um, eventually it turned, eventually it turned into, uh, I guess he thought I was shitting on his family, which I wasn't doing at all. I had nothing but good things to say. And I still hope everything's okay with him in that sense. Um, and then it turned into him then threatening to dox me, which I didn't appreciate at all. And that's kind of where we're at now. Um, I also threatened to fight him. I don't, I don't think I'd actually <laughs> fight him. I threatened to fight a lot of people. Yeah. If we're going to be honest, uh, threatening somebody to fight and uh, threatening somebody to dox, I think it's a different kind of different uh, areas of. of yeah, especially on the internet, especially like on the assault, internet. brother. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? I guess I'm a felon. I guess I'm a felon. Yeah. 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 So, so yeah, yeah, it yeah. kind of went back and it kind of went back and forth and we're kind of at like a stalemate right now. I know uh, I got blocked by Blob who I, I kind of find. Yeah, stalemate. Uh, I got blocked by him. Um, a lot of incels actually have yeah, reached so out I. to me about it. Yeah, BA has been blocked. Um, both there's my some burners, people who aren't. Both my burners. So. Yeah, even BA's burner. So he knows what he's doing. So TJ, what are your like thoughts on what went down with this whole thing? Like coming from well, an LG guy. I remember a while back uh, the comment that you, Phil, said in Discord um, <clears throat> when his daughter was in the hospital. Um, and you'll say, well, we didn't say anything. Well, I mean, so if I remember correctly, it was a sleight of hand. It wasn't even, it might have been not that big of a deal. But to someone who has a daughter in the fucking hospital. Yeah. You know, it, but what did it, I it's say? Amp, it's but amplified. what did I say? Well, what no, do you that's think what I I'm said? saying. I, I remember seeing the, like. But what did I, I, I no, no, what no, no, I remember. I can't, I, I can't even direct quote because I could give a fuck less. I can yeah. direct usually. quote. I can direct quote because I went back and I looked at all the receipts because I know I didn't say anything about his daughter. 
All right. No, I and, and we'll put this right. I know in that for here. a fact. I know that for Wait, a fact. So, let him go. Let him go. Okay. Let him talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, even if, so what? A, I remember seeing it and being like, "All right, well, uh, no big deal," you know. Mm -hmm. And so I don't even remember what it was, but mm -hmm. but to somebody else that might see it, it might come off disrespectful. What happens with text and um, uh, dialogue, the type dialogue, is that it has no emotion, so you don't know. You know what yeah. I mean? You could have been like. Hey, hope everything's good with his family, or yeah, hope everything's uh, fucking good with this family, asshole. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it, sometimes it comes off differently. Um, and then you know, from the whole, it's it blew up the other day. Like, yeah, I don't know, maybe it was Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. Uh, it was Wednesday or Tuesday or something right. like that. Wednesday yeah, was, it, it was going off, and uh, I don't know, maybe it's, it, I was seeing stuff that was from Discord. I didn't barely go on there, but I was seeing stuff from Discord from um, from Blob, you know, detailing, hey, you guys are going going at him, um, shooting the shit with him. Or mm -hmm. what I, you know, what would be regular banter, I guess. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, a couple burps. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> Let him uh, out, baby. but again, you never know who's on the other side of that fence. You know, you don't, mm -hmm. you can't, if he's never been on camera, like you, Phil, or UBA, or you, yeah. Joel, yeah. Um, you don't know how they are. Um, so, um, I mean, I mean, in all honesty, I mean, if the guy felt disrespected somehow, it, you know, we sh it should have been toned down at that point, you know, not, mm -hmm. yeah. And I understand. And then you know, he throws out, he throws out trying to dock you, Phil, um, you know, the guy's pissed off. He feels fucking disrespected. And, uh, you know, that's the way it is sometimes, you know? Yeah. Um, and, it, and just to pinpoint one more thing is that if you don't want to get doxxed, use your real name. Who gives a fuck. You're not going to lose anything. <laughs> Believe me, no one gives a fuck. Zero yeah. people. Yeah, I've been doing this for a long time. You know what? That little name right there, that's really my name. And I, the yeah. T stands for Timothy and the other one stands for Jason. Yeah. I, I've been dying. I've been dying for people to use my real name, but it yeah. just gets goddamn changed every ten oh, minutes. I, just, I, I never. I never. <laughs> go ahead, yeah. Go ahead. Right. So I just want to touch on something. Some of the stuff that TJ said, because I kind of see both sides uh, to this. One, I think uh, the Discord gets really misinterpreted a lot because uh, I think uh, people look at some screenshots and a lot of stuff from there, and uh, they'll be like. Oh, these guys are just talking shit about us twenty four seven. When that's not really the case, um, yeah. I, I think what 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 you made a good point where the escalation part of it, where you know this guy said, "Hey, I didn't like this." Then uh, then we th it kind of never stopped, and it got worse and worse, and more people jumping in, jumping in, jumping in, and I think that's where it gets gets to uh, a, another level where. If it from the beginning it didn't get escalated so much, then um, it might not have led to what it is now. But I think the Discord does get misrepresented a lot because it's not a place where we're just shitting on people all the time. We are no, no around no. most of the time. But it kind of snowball effect, you know what I mean? It kind yeah, of snowball. Exactly. When, when and, if, if 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 you John, Joel, yeah. <laughs> and Phil, if you guys are in there and you're talking back and forth and you're kind of shitting on blow, just as if, um, you know, me or Steve from Providence were, you guys wouldn't see it, obviously, but we, yeah. from text or whatever, if we were shitting um, uh, on somebody else, I wouldn't wouldn't let it out there. You know what I mean? But you guys, you're doing it on a public forum so other people see it. And when those other people are probably going to side with you guys, they're going to stop piling on. It's a fucking pig pile. And then Blobs yeah. left at the bottom of that thing fucking without air. You know, and he's that's just feeling where, trapped. Well, that's where the pilot line where, is fucked up because, and yeah. I, I, and then I'm getting in shit because I'm not piling on, and I'm like, what the? So fuck yeah, here's on? where I want to jump. Guilty by Here's well, where let me, I want to well, jump. Before you jump, before you jump in, John. Okay, go ahead, Phil. Let me just say that after the first day, I pulled out. You know what I mean? It's not like I. You can say that I kept piling on, but yeah, 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 I, yeah. I would say the occasional thing here and there, people would ask me, "What's going on? Like, why are you in this fight mm -hmm. with Below? Why is he trying to dox you? What am I supposed to do? Just, just be like, yeah, I guess I'm wrong. He." He has the right to dock. I'm gonna I'm gonna explain what I think is going no, on. No, no, no. So I keep doing yeah, that. But and then um, I yeah. but as soon as Kirk as soon as Kirk made it clear that he didn't want this to keep going, I didn't I didn't keep adding him on Twitter. I didn't keep responding to it. he tweeted at me for an entire day and I didn't respond. I didn't no, respond no, once. Am I under the assumption that you guys both DM'd each other? We DM'd each other. I DM'd him to try and make peace. It did not work out. 
Okay. I mean, all three of us. Here's the thing. Okay, you did so let me punch him on the pile. The, Wilburn, the right? piling. Yeah, but on... I mean, I don't know if I don't know if we see your pipes. Let me see your pipes. Let me see your pipes. Let's see. Let me see. Oh, we're a long sleeve. He weren't a, uh, 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 a, uh, a lineman. <laughs> lineman. But uh, uh, it's in the I, legs, man. You'd know that if you were a lineman. <laughs> yeah, he was. Got thick old boy legs. <laughs> State champion, by the way. I think the punch yeah. though. I think the punch joke was like tongue in cheek. It kind of was. It might have it was not probably been a bad joke. Yeah. It wasn't the best move to do at the time. And the piling on, I don't think it was you, Phil, but it was a lot of other people that like. Uh, oh, that no, no. And then what happens is Phil Phil piles on nothing, you know, and then the other people see it and you you back away. And you're like, all right. Mm -hmm. But but the other people are just like, all right. So he, right here's all the where people I'm, have been wrong, gonna, too, you know, I'm going to jump in here because listen, the whole time me and B.A., when we know this is going on, I've talked to Blob since the bracket started. Me and Blob have been DMing. I like Blob. Up until yesterday, me and Blob were planning a show to get out on the YouTube channel. We were talk. I, I checked in on him and his daughter three, two or three times at least during when Kirk first mentioned it. And when, maybe we'll drop the text of our me our show's group text right now. I reached out to these guys and said, "Make sure you guys. I know Phil. I know you are." You know, go you and Blob are going through shit right now. But dude, this kid's daughter's in the hospital. Make sure we reach out. Every one of us said we will. Um, and then we're in the we're in the DMs with the me and Blob are in the DMs trying to fix this. And then BA's in the DMs trying to fix this. We know Phil that Phil doesn't have to. They're going at it, guys. But it's everybody piling on who just wants to get in on the fight and like trolling on Discord and going after Blub. Listen, we love that you guys are warriors and stuff. And when there's a real fight, there's a real fight. But if it's between two dudes going at it on each other, there's no reason to to pick side. That's what makes everything yeah. look like it's a min cell min a fan fight. Yeah. Discord versus that. Then then they get mad at us because me and BA are DMing with Blob and not defending Phil. So now our own guys are going against us. Now look look at how all the dominoes fell. You know what I mean? Like this is what what causes it. You know, and that that was my problem. And like Phil, you know for a fact the whole time we never told you to stop. Yeah, you know what I mean. Oh, we, no, we, no, we I told you. We had your back. Told you we had, and you, you knew, and we you had your back. We had yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I agree. I went on the I went on the rundown and made a fool out of myself, saying like, I, I uh, no matter what, you know, if there's a war, I come through. Like, <laughs> no, I did that for <laughs> I did that for like fucking. That. <laughs> yeah, I don't give a fuck. It's because I don't want my guys having to fight a war that I don't want to see them fighting and getting docks. And if yeah, the, it, right, I would right, rather it happen again, to me. That's what I'm saying. With that mentality, it. it's not everybody. It's not your guys. It's everybody. Yeah, exactly. everybody's in this That's together. the thing. It's no, it shouldn't be old. It, it always turns into kind of OGs versus I, themselves, which is stupid because it's like two guys are fighting. They're fighting. They have their own beef station. Right, right. right. But and yeah, you know, both those mm -hmm. guys, you know, both those guys, Phil, you have you mm -hmm. people have your back. People have blobs. Yeah, back. exactly. And yeah. Uh, you know they're like you know he. It just happens. But, but, but like, you know, some, and, and within this world, no one wants to take a side of something. Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, his yeah. the side we all take sides on. Kirk's side. Yeah. Yeah. We don't. We don't like the fucking Red Sox anymore. Yeah. It sucks. Yeah. Believe yeah. me, it sucks. I hate the fucking globe. Okay. You know we don't like Bob Murchison. Okay. <laughs> and you I know? hate. I hate that this got so blown up that Kirk had to step in and kind of say yeah. that he wanted us to move on. Like that was the point that when I realized yeah, like, it, it, got, the, it got to the top. But that's. It but should that, never get to the top. But then that happens, and then they're still piling on, and not from you, Phil, because I think when that happened, you kind of toned it down. But then there's a bunch of other people piling on, and it's like we, it's like what TJ said. There's only one side; it's Kirk's side. He said, "Cut this shit out," it. and it didn't That's get it. cut out. And then, and then it's like, and then, uh, then other people's uh, characters getting called into question and stuff. And it's like, mm -hmm. what the fuck are we even doing, like right yeah. now? And and I totally agree that I would be pretty rattled too if someone's like trying to dox me because. I think that escalated it to another level. There's a lot of escalation on a, a lot of a lot of sides here, but it's like Kirk said, Shh, let's cut it out. And I think if everyone just cut it out, it could have been a lot. It could have won a lot better. Yeah, exactly. It's just it, too many voices, too many times. But like I have to say, like when it all went down and Kirk said something, I said I want like a sit down with the OGs. A lot of OGs reached out to me and um, said, "What can we do to fix this?" So. So is there a war between Minzels and Minifans and OG Minifans? No, no, dude. We're we're oh, friends. Like we talk. I'm on Zoom and Zoom meetings with TJ. Um, 
almost, I mean, we did it what three times in the past two weeks. Meetings? Like, yeah, you call those meetings or you, uh, what kind of meetings? Business? Well, yeah, do, Zoom meetings are like a you thing. See my right? ax? Yeah. Do you see my ax? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I, I, right. I have a video you know, maybe coming out of TJ's uh, house tour. It's going to be your, funny. All, all your Zoom data is going to China. That's why I refuse to go on that. Phil's going to be Chinese. Phil's going to be Phil's joining Wait, the help and the conspiracy. Fucking China, right? <laughs> Dealing with fucking China. <laughs> That's all right. If you're on this show, it goes to Russia. So you're already over yeah, there. Yeah, we're, we're, um, we're going to Russia. <laughs> so listen, right let's up. get out of let's get out of the uh the peace summit here and let's get into the real fun part of everything because listen, it's over. Um, I think I think we the, the dust will settle here a little bit. And uh, the only message from us Menzels is we're we're not we're not at war. And I hope and I hope the Minna fans, uh OG Minna no. fans feel the same. No, I'm, way. I'm always yeah. I'm always at war though. I yeah, am always at, dragon, I am so. always at war too, but, it, <laughs> but it's with against it's, against Kirk's enemies. Yes, yeah, we we exactly. are not in fighting. We are not in fighting, which yeah, we have some like very fighting. special news about Brian Riccio too. Um, so let's jump into our next little segment here. We're just going to do an interview a little bit with uh, TJ. We'll make this sure. about ten minutes. We don't want to be too too long, like but it. we we like got it. the opportunity. To, we got the opportunity to ask uh, an OG some good questions here. So BA. You got this interview. You got this uh, this big leaguer on the show. How about you start us off? Oh, I, yeah, I have nothing really prepared, but I I, I just want to say, <laughs> um, uh, TJ TJ and Steve, like uh, I, I'm huge fans of the OG show. I'm big fans. I just want to know, um, can I see the small hand? Can I see? Do you have the small hand? <laughs> Uh, that one? Oh, yeah. Where, <laughs> okay, where, did, <laughs> where did you get the, where's the inspiration behind the small hand? Where did you get it? Um, the small hand was started a few years ago. Um, I think probably 2017 or 2016 between my friend of mine and, uh, we started something called WRIP news where I just did like onset locations. Like I did one at a brewery where we're sticking these little tiny hands into the hot <laughs> and shit. My friend owns a brewery up here. Um, like during blizzards, I do a uh, like live video from my car, be driving around in blizzards, and it's it's yeah. pretty funny. Um, yeah, yeah I had a special funny. name for that. I'm not gonna give that out. Shit, a lot well, of people. <laughs> I said my follow up is, can I have your address, social security, and uh, <laughs> employment? Yep. <laughs> One, two, three, fuck off. Massachusetts. Phil, you have any you have any uh, you have any questions for TJ? Anything spe- uh, specific yeah. or anything like that? Well, I, I know you're a I know you're a big big cat guy. So I wanted yes. to ask you, um, is Spiral Ham your favorite horse or who do you who'd you have there? Uh breaking news tonight, Spiral Ham yep. Ham won its first race out of twenty seven. Oh yep. shit. Oh, out, yeah, here. out of twenty seven fucking in. races, Spiral Ham won. And um, I'm I'm very excited for f- fucking Big Cat. That was I'll take was, I'll take yeah. it. Then you are a Spiral Ham guy. Also, your, I was your a Spiral boy Ham. A, and then you your know, boy hit a million followers too, right? Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah a million big, followers too. Yeah. People are saying that uh, the gifts had to, had a lot to do with it. The memes and gifts by TJ. Um, yeah, I'm a, I'm a, yeah. I'm only five hundred thousand. I guess so. I guess another <laughs> another question I have to follow up with that is like, were you were you into Big Cat before um, Kirk came to Barstool? Or did you oh no no no! I here's what happens. I lock I uh, lock on to someone, and for like months at a time, I'll just fucking throw memes at him and just fucking shoot at him. I did this for Mutt, um, Mike Manansky. It, it actually got him to Minnesota for the f- Super Bowl. Oh, really? It was um, yeah, because I had the Mutt to Mini. Remember the uh, hashtag Mutt to Mini, and I was tweeting out gifts of him at the airport doing you know doing this shit, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I was getting retweeted, and uh, it was pretty. I think I had something to do with him getting to Minnesota, which was pretty fucking cool. Um, but uh, also, I mean, I went on a John Tomasi run for a while, him snorting coke. Um, I that was I'm always on a Dave Portnoy kick. Like, I just want to beat him to the fucking ground. But that has changed over the last week. You guys want to know why? 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 That unboxing show is the best fucking thing on the internet. Yeah, it's actually so fun it, to watch. He, he, it he is so fun to watch. Sliced his fucking thumb off last night. He, yeah, like, I saw it's that. It's almost like. It's like watching NASCAR for the fucking wrecks. Yeah, he yeah, ain't yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's, it's you got you exactly got to be patient like. because it's long, but yeah. but it's worth it when it's worth. It. It's like the, like him leaving the camera on the other day yeah. with the sniffs, like yeah. the <laughs> sniffles, and it's an that edible. was bad. He eats an edible that just someone sends him in the mail. Like, <laughs> His mother told him last night, no more eating. Yeah, he yeah. Had, a, had a fucking yeah. brownie. Sent him straight. I, I geez, I ate a brownie once when I was fucking like tw- I was your age, Phil. 
<laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. By the way, I, I, we just mix it. Ma- we just mix marijuana and with the brownies. We that's. I wasn't. I wasn't right for three days because you you don't come down from the high until you shit it out. No, you know. <laughs> just so I was running around there. like huh, my my old boss thought I was fucking on heroin. I was like, did you see me? I'm fucking three hundred pounds. You ever seen a heroin addict? Three hundred pounds. Come on. <laughs> um, to double up on the bar stool question, um. What uh, like wh- what did you feel when Kirk like l- said that shit about you? That you you know you're a barstool guy now. Like, do, are, did, does oh, that shit affect you? Like, because no, no, some of no, the fans no. get shit on in the show and it, and, and it breaks them. Like, some, uh, like OG, some, I see OGs get shit on the show and they they love it. Like, oh, I, I always it. said if we get talked about on the show, it's gonna be about shitting on us, and that's the best thing that could happen. Oh, some meta- good pub. Yeah, some meta fans yeah. shit on uh, other fucking meta fans too, right, Phil? And then, yeah. <laughs> and then it blows up. But he has Kirk shitting all over me, telling him he's sucking big cat's dick. You know what I mean? I find it funny. I don't, you know, it doesn't bother me at all. Um, yeah, he knows where my alliances are, and that's fine. But again, mm. when someone said, "Oh, well, you're going to leave for big cat," but no, big cat's a part of this show. You know, mm-hmm. he's part of the Kirk show. He's calling up. He's one of the best interactive, like personalities from Barstool that interacts with the show. Oh yeah, um, yeah, him calling up and trying to get Blind Mike to talk about Bostool uh, <laughs> last week was fucking hilarious. Yeah. yeah, the guy's a talent. He's he's funny. He's a he's a lovable guy. I like him. So it's, yeah, um, it's, too because he really knew like the inner like insides uh, of the Minif fan world where he's trying sure. to ask Shane uh, Shane Gillis questions to Mike and yeah, but you <laughs> honestly think like he doesn't have a lot of time on his hands, but I think like he fills some void with Kirk. Like I think he respects. Well, him. He like it's kind of like KFC, but KFC doesn't like. When something's brought up about Kirk's world, KFC really doesn't know what's going on, but he likes to no. associate with our world. <laughs> Big Cat knows what the fuck is going on. And like, it it's sure like does. when he makes, when Big Cat makes fun of Kirk, like, oh, t- tell the Murchison story again. Like that kind of shit. Like, I fucking <laughs> love that shit, dude. I yeah. love that shit. When he was down um, in Miami, sitting on the couch and stuff, I mean, that's pretty good. He just comes in, he's like, yeah, I forgot my jacket. You know? <laughs> yeah, he's like, what? All right. I mean, he just, he just seems like one of those guys you'd like to fucking hang out with. Sort of like oh, BA. Yeah. yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Well, that's the second question. Uh, are you going to the Wilbur? I am going to the Wilbur. I got oh. a front seat. Oh, nice. Front nice. and center. Nice. And um, I was, we have something geared up for that. Ooh, I was just, nice. Um, I, it, listen, I would love to be on stage as one of the musical talents. So, one of the things well, I saw something today that Steve Steve's the liar guy isn't going to be there for the next show now. It's a rumor. Was, that, was that a rumor? It's a rumor. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Well, it's not confirmed, sure. but you said he, Red said he had sources, so who knows? Oh, we'll Red. Probably talk about tomorrow. Red. Yeah. The investigative journalist that we have on on staff. So I mean, I I maybe. met Red. I met Red a, a year and a half ago. Oh, really? About a year ago. Yeah. What does he look like he, in person? Because he's terrifying just in this small box. He was kind of terrifying. I'm not. I'm, not I'm glad Red's a Philly. <laughs> Someone um, said uh, Red looks like the guy that uh, took your lunch money back in the day at school. Yeah. <laughs> he's, a, he's a he's a strapping gentleman. I'll tell you that. Yeah, he's a, a gentle giant. Gentle. Um, <laughs> but you know, yeah. Uh, the funny thing was, so he he um, DMs me. He's like, "Hey, man, I got some stickers." And I'm like, wait a second. Where the fuck do you get these stickers? You know, knowing full fucking well where you got the stickers from. And I'm like, I'm not giving that guy my fucking address. You know what I mean? Like, sorry. But he's like, you want to meet me at the store up the street? He's like, yeah. So I got him. I handed them out to some people. I had a couple. Of, I think I threw a couple out. Like, I'm pissed because of it. But um, <laughs> I met him. And he was like, oh, my God. So great to meet you. One of the OGs. I was like, I was taking it back by. It. I was like, what? You, what? Yeah. What? No, just he's a good fucking regular slop, you know, <laughs> down the street, fucking playing scratch tickets. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah, speaking he, of Red, Red has Red has a new show, The Rundown. What did you think of that? And what do you think about this new world where Kirk's kind of building um, with the YouTube shows, with the fan content? Because a lot of people are just like, oh, more Kirk, are you fan shows and blah, blah, blah. And you're a person who has a show. And I, I like your show. Um, it's my favorite. What do you think about what, yeah, what do you I think it's the only one BA watches. I like Steve. What do you think it's about, the only one I watch. What do you think of, like about what's going on right now with this all? Do you do you embrace it? Do you kind of like do you want it's, the break pushed or what? It, it's fun. I mean, I, I really I enjoy the show that we do um immensely because Steve Fabrom is such a fucking guy, you know, such a good guy. <laughs> it's my guy. 
Um, he's so funny when he dude, said yeah. for Patrick to take a take his dick out or put, <laughs> take his dick out of our phone. If you could see the stuff oh, that we yeah. send, yeah. we send through either Facebook or text messages. He's fucking. It's just it's well, you're funny. one of the few shows that had to have a bleep in it. <laughs> yeah, that was that was my bad. I can't believe that. I was like, really? Is that like that wouldn't? I don't know if that would offend anybody calling somebody by their yeah. uh, like. I wouldn't if I called Phil from India. I mean, I don't think he'd be offended. I mean, I'm yeah. just no, saying. I wouldn't be offended. I just I just correct him that I'm not. I wouldn't. I'm Phil from Mexico. <laughs> Phil from Mexico. <laughs> Phil from Guatemala. Yeah. <laughs> Phil from Chile. <laughs> It does look a little Mexican, a little bit. <laughs> oh, God. Weird. It's funny. A I have little. a I have, I have a brother who's five four, and uh, mm-hmm. when everybody, when you ever seen the you ever seen the movie La Bamba? <laughs> you yeah. seen the movie La Bamba, right? He looks like Richie's brother. I mean, looks just like him. You know what I mean? Everybody <laughs> thinks my brother's Mexican. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they're like not my Richie, you know, for the movie. <laughs> it's, it's fucking hilarious. So that's funny. But so funny. I think. The run, I watched some of the rundown the other day. I, I fully enjoy it. I hope to be on it one day. Give me no, you. So basically, that was going to be yeah. my uh, my follow up to that. So we're kind of getting a, a host for it, guests for it. You are on the docket to be a host for it. Would you? Would you mind being a host? I would. I wouldn't mind at all. So I got awesome. a question: Is it like Red will always be on it, then two other people, no. or so just, here's how we're doing it? Kind of so a, me and Red go on. So me and Red have it set up. So and let me put it the other way around. Red set the show up. I'm helping with show. it. This isn't my show. It's his show. I'm helping it with it. But um, you got a lot, are, of, a lot of hands in a lot of shows, John. Hey, what well, the, I'm I'm trying to help anyone I can. So <laughs> the the goal is we're gonna have a Mike and the Minute fans was based that it was gonna be a bunch of Minute fans coming on. We've seen different. So our goal is there's going to be a different host every day. Now, those hosts are going to come from the YouTube shows, really. So we know they're good on camera. We know what they can do. Every other guest, and there's a list of about 20 guests that we have so far, is just out of anyone. We want anyone who has the opportunity, anyone who has a phone and some headphones that could do the show, DM us and you're on. Um, now, granted, it could be in four weeks, but guess what? You're on the list. So um, that's the goal. The rundown, I thought, went really well, other than the fact I felt like an asshole for everything I said, but I had to defend my guy. <laughs> You know, I like, anything wrong. I didn't. I don't. Think I, I, it's how I feel, and I it, it pisses me off sometimes to see people in the Discord fighting, and like that. That just pissed me off that day because I was trying to learn how to. It's long, um. But no, I think the rundown is going to be very effective. It's just kind of getting our groove, and I mean, Nick's actually on the show right now in the lobby watching us do this, so he could he could learn more, and that just shows like we're trying to make the best show we can. And Nick's the man, Red's the man, and I think we got something good. But Red's going to kind of be on there a lot more than everyone else because it's his show. But uh, yeah, TJ, it's good to hear Alan coming through. Red's talent. Yeah, oh yeah, he's talent. all right. Yeah. Alan like yeah. read about. <laughs> Talent oh, like you read about. Um, any, questions, so. any questions you have for us, and then we're gonna bring Will in for some questions for you because I know he's got a couple too. BA, let's go. All right, what do you got? For me? <laughs> you have an affinity for the Toronto Blue Jays. Uh, do I? Yeah. Well, I'm a more of a Leafs fan. I'm a really big Leafs fan. Uh, but when the Jays were good a few years back, I was going to playoff games and stuff. So but I don't know too. I don't know too much of their history. Anymore. How did you feel when the Bruins beat the Leafs? Oh, fuck with, you. With, <laughs> with, with like down by like 18 goals with the two minutes left and they fucking came back. Hey, you got it all wrong. B.A. is a big Bruins guy. No, oh, I'm not. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a pretty even keeled guy. This is the one thing that <laughs> pisses me off. <laughs> you know, I'll start an OG Mincel battle over, over there. <laughs> Bruins I'll get all the BA guys to go at, at uh, you, the Bruins. Uh, Bruins. But that, that was one of the worst moments of my life. I ha- I was at a bar. I was at a bar with my buddy. Uh, it was like seven of us, and we have one Bruins fan. The whole game, we're giving him the finger. Fuck you. The Leafs did it. They did it. And he just sat there quiet. Uh, oh, they came back. It was, it was the dish served cold, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't say that right. But yeah, <laughs> revenge is best served cold. That's what it yeah. is, I think. Yeah, there it is. We, we see as a team, we got together. Don't say there's no Mincel, uh, Minifan no, uh, collaboration I'm here. <laughs> I'm asking about the Blue Jays because <clears throat> is there a possibility that they could move to Montreal? 
Oh, I don't, th- I don't think so. Well, so what's crazy with the Blue Jays when they were when they were, are bad, the like the the Rogers Center doesn't really fill up. But when they were good for those th- two three years where they were going to the playoffs, it was fucking packed. It was there's like fifty sixty thousand people there. It was nuts. But I don't think they would move. They do uh, they do pretty well. If um, um, the Montreal Expos were to reignite, would you jump on that train? Oh no, never, never. <laughs> Why? Why you're an Expos guy? I'm an Expos guy. Oh really? I'd, I'd move on to that. You think I'm going to cheer for the fucking Red Sox again? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> John Henry's gone. I'll tell you that. Well, well you could. Have you always? Have you always been an Expos fan, or is that just because of? No, no, what's no, going no. On right? Like the Red Sox won in 04. I cried. There's no, there's no joke. I was a fucking Red Sox. I'm a yeah. diehard Red Sox fan. Um, yeah. all the way up until you know, even 2013. And then I think the whole um, uh, uh, racist comment thing with Kirk and um, not yeah, with Kirk. Gave you that. again. Let me just say this: uh, the guy Adam Jones, Adam Jones <laughs> yeah. saying that someone said the N word from the stands. Oh yeah, they're like, well, I just kind of like need some evidence of that. And I was like, yeah. you don't need evidence. And I remember Dale Arnold being a fucking prick about it, and <laughs> what a fucking cunt that guy was. So. Yeah. Um, at that point, I was like, okay, well, and then you know, all the pandering, fucking John Henry renaming Yaki yeah. Way to fucking Jersey Street, and it just mm-hmm. that it just it got it got a little much, so yeah, yeah. So, if we could redraft um Tom Brady and um the, as a Montreal Expo and go back up there, yeah, I'd probably and plus, my <laughs> best strip clubs, and they front, do. Okay. That's what I hear. I, I was hear there at awesome. 17. I was in one at 17. I had a box in my face. It was nice. I don't know if I got that, actually. <laughs> did, did he yeah. just get lap dance? Uh, I, when I was 17, I didn't get go to like the private rooms. I was like, I was too nervous, but they, I was like front row for um, like one of the show, hmm. like uh, just the general person out there. And the girl put her box in my face. I guess oh. she like, I thought, I thought nice. she, said look, she looked like Phil from Discord. Oh, if, well, that would be even better. That might even <laughs> that was the case. He would have been in the private rooms. Oh, that was the kicker. Probably. He was just about to say that part. <laughs> yeah, I, pa- I passed, um, uh, passed out on the steps of the Molten Center. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> East, I think it was. So I woke up yeah. at like three in the morning. I'm like, where the fuck am I? <laughs> but yeah, um, any, other, any other questions for us before we bring in the best producer in the business? Um, no, let's bring in Princess Leia. Oh, let's, bring, yeah. let's go, Leia. <laughs> what? <laughs> Pussy. Hey, well. No, I I, hey, guess I, I, have, I had one yeah. question uh, for uh, TJ. Um, he is an OG, um, Mena fan, so I have to ask him, what is your all-time favorite big cat moment? <laughs> what does that have to do with being an OG Mena fan? What are you talking about? Yeah, I, think yeah, that, Phil, I think that was right a- over your head, yeah. brother. It yeah, happened. you see what he did there. <laughs> it happened tonight. <laughs> Spiral ham <It> happened. <laughs> oh, okay. Spiral ham win is big. Yeah. When big cat is big. Out in all caps, it was a big fucking night. 27 days of isolation. Spiral ham won. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, so, TJ, if I tell you a funny story about uh, Big the- Cat, I, was, I, went, I went to Rough and Rowdy in. Uh, in the one that was in Ohio and I got out of, we left the, the events, we get out of our car and big cat Portnoy, Roan and Caleb get out of the car at the same time of us. We walk in the hotel at the same time as them get in the elevator at the same time as them big cat Portnoy and them are in the elevator. You know, we're sitting there going to floor by floor and we get to the last floor and we know big cat notices. He's like, Oh fuck. I missed my floor. Like two floors. <laughs> he just missed his floor completely. Just got out at a random floor and just left. <laughs> I was like, that was the most big cat moment in the world. <laughs> That's hilarious, it, yeah. it described him perfectly. So, um, we're going to hop into a quick ad read. Thank you, TJ for answering those questions for us. And, uh, thank you, Will for looking like princess Leia. We're going to hop into an ad read real quick here. And then we're going to get into the, uh, meet well, and the I think I look pretty good. Yeah, you I mean, I it. We'll get we'll get into we'll okay, get into that. Like a, we'll get it. We'll get into that. Yeah. Time, I got to produce the show. Add read time. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to introduce you to the Zoom happy hour, uh, guys. We do the Zoom happy hour. Latino Kirk has been running it. Um, first one I hopped in, it was a lot of OG men and fans. I was uh, I was kind of in there with. Um, you know, some big wigs and, you know, Dave Cullinane popped in. Last one I was on, uh, Steve Robinson popped in. Um, we're hoping to get as many people as we can in there. 
uh, Latino Kirk has a membership for it, so we could have the meetings as long as we want. Only rules are you got to have a drink in your hand. Um, it could be alcohol, no yeah. alcohol. But um, thanks, Bert. Uh, but thanks. when we're uh, when we're doing when we're doing it, um, usually Latino Kirk pops it on pops it on Twitter, and you just have to DM him for the link. So make sure you guys keep an eye out for that. It's pretty fun. Uh, TJ will probably come back and talk on it a little bit because you know we have a lot of fun in there. So let's bring everybody back in here. Let's get into some hot seat, cool throne. TJ, aren't they fun though? Like like last night we were on one. It's, they're fun. Yeah, they are. They are. It's, they're um, it's decent. I uh, LK sent me it last night, and I was like, I don't know what the fuck we're gonna get into. You know what I mean? Just click, mm. and you're like, who the fuck is this? And it was like the people from the Lemon Haze. Podcast. Yeah, Lemon Haze guy was in there. Yeah, I think it's nice night. every time TJ's in there. If there's somebody he doesn't know, he makes everybody stop, and he said, "No, no, BA, Super Lemon Haze." We've never yeah. met. And right. I want to introduce myself and say hello. Like, I'm like, that's what, that's what everybody, like OG Minna fans are not mean people. That was, <laughs> a, that was a huge that. moment for me. That was a huge moment. I'm a big uh, TJ and Steve fan, you know? So that was like, yeah, that was yeah. I, I always end up logging on as soon as Stephen Robbins logs off. <laughs> yeah, it's actually true. Always that's happens. true. The last yeah. night was funny because you did the uh, you did you couldn't talk in the beginning because the kid was sleeping or whatever and you were just walking around giving a tour of your house picking up random shit. <laughs> it was funny as fuck. <laughs> Milk and cookies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you had that mask on and shit. Um, but yeah, no. I mean, I thought the one we did on Friday or I think it was Friday. Yeah, Friday where uh, Steve hopped in and it was basically like a. A crossover between your show and the Robinson Report. You guys were going at it about um, some politics stuff, so it's like a different topic every time, and it's just everybody's having fun. Um, so I think you guys should check that out what? too. Yeah. Um, so if you have any questions about that, DM Latino Kirk or me. I don't know what I can do to help, but yeah, just, just to say hello. Any of the fans <laughs> hold up to hundred people, so any yeah, of the fans yeah. are on. Um, and it really didn't seem clogged or anything either. Like everyone takes the, takes their turn talking and we laugh and shit. So it's fun. Let's uh let's hop into hot seat cool throne. Um, Will, you want to go first for me? Uh no, can you send it some to somebody else? Can they go first? Okay, cool. Thanks. <laughs> uh BS, <laughs> go first. <laughs> That's pretty good. Well, not uh, me here. How much conditioner did you use in that hair today? <laughs> yeah. We'll oh. get into that once oh, again. Oh. And leap. <laughs> We'll get into I was, that. I've been, I was tripped about how much I, I speak and how much I, I make an appearance on. So <laughs> I'm going to keep it to when I'm spoken to. But I don't well, want to speak. You were spoken to. You I don't want to, but I don't want to, but I don't want to speak right now. But now you're speaking more <laughs> about not speaking. You're not yet. Now you're making a big deal. Hot seat. So my hot yeah. seat, I hope this doesn't blow up into a big uh, Twitter beef, but it's DEC. It's DEC is on my hot seat. Uh, the guy's just in Discord for like two hours just creeping and waiting for any girl <laughs> to come in to talk to. <laughs> He's just on, brand. on brand. Yeah, on brand. It's he so says, funny, though. <laughs> he doesn't say anything. Then D then a girl comes in, and he's boom. He's ready to go just talking to her. So DEC is on my hot seat for lurking the Discord a bit. It, he, oh, he like okay. he actually just sits there without like he's just he goes on uh he thinks he puts himself on the like do not disturb mode or the what is it the one with the moon uh like no, he's like away or something and, and he thinks that makes him invisible but he's still there everyone sees him what? he doesn't say anything <laughs> yeah he doesn't <laughs> he said too he said too like someone was like oh dc you don't know how to use the internet he's like i've been using the internet since 1995 <laughs> or something that was an all time quote <laughs> Him and I, the first two <laughs> users on the internet were Zonker and DEC. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Zonk, Zonker and Ben. Hey, hey, don't discredit me. I was plugging my fucking <laughs> parent phone jack back in 95 on my game. So. <laughs> nice. Do you I have mean, nightmares about the dial up sound? How else was I going to get I to? Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> who do you uh who do you have on cool throne be my, my cool throne uh steve from providence uh a couple things one one like the um, whole 
uh, Phil Blobe thing started happening, he or near the end of it, he reached out and tried to broker peace. I think actually he probably did the best job out of anyone. Um, but uh, he's a good guy. He's, he hops in the Discord. Whenever he's in the Discord voice chats, it's always hilarious. He yeah. always uh, questions my character a lot. I won't go into what he says on the show, but who you know, he can hear it. In the, <laughs> who doesn't? Uh, I mean, his accusations are pretty solid. So, I mean, uh, investigations are going on, and uh, I think a verdict will be. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm hashtag, VA, I'm hashtag with him. Hey, <laughs> DA, just remember whenever you point the finger, you got three coming right back at you. Hey, what do you, <laughs> you, know, uh, you got to hear more in the voice chat, I guess, okay. if you want to know what the accusations uh, are. Well, so. I, I, yeah, I guess. I guess I'm too consumed by talking. Shout out, shout out Friday night like spelling bees with uh, Steve from Providence, too. He did pretty well last week. Did you uh, well? Phil, who do you have? For you? Yeah, he was in there. He was in there uh, two weeks he ago. Like he he made three or four. Like, I yeah, cheated. I was cheating and I still lost, man. It was fucked. Yeah, you lost first round cheating. That's my yeah. guy, BA. Uh, Phil, who do we have on Hot Seat Cool Throw? Uh, yeah, so my hot seat this week is no one other than Barstool Advisor, a.k.a. B.A. Oh, and nice. the reason the reason why is we kind of got into this before at the beginning of the show. But this guy fucking goes on a bender every single – at least once a week. And he, <laughs> he asks everybody in the Discord, at everyone. It pings every – someone gets a notification. <laughs> not everyone. You didn't, but you added me at least four times. And then you texted me too just to wake me up. <laughs> At 4 a.m. BA. So I was just awake. I was just awake, like, why the fuck is BA texting me about our show tomorrow at 4 a.m.? And then I'm looking at Discord and I see you you ping me four times about some other nonsense. And then people are arguing. I'm like, guys, it's 4 a.m. Just go to bed. Jesus Christ. I just want to talk to my husband. He texted our group at 4 a.m. I have a great idea. And I was up, luckily. And I said, what is it? No answer. (laughs) He fell asleep. He woke up the next morning, had no idea what it was. I'm like, that could have been our. I could if have been I replied, ticket out of here. If I replied, I think I think he would have called me and we would have just been on the phone for a while. I think it wouldn't have ended. So I just ignored him. I'm sorry, I ignored you. Hey, no problem. Hey, you know, uh, I'll 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 uh, I'm on a moderate uh, a suspension, self induced suspension in the Discord. Oh, big I enough. saw that. I saw that you were suspended. Yeah, I suspended myself. Didn't so know it was self imposed. I won't be using any of my mod abilities, even though I've never used them to begin with. So by suspended, he means he just put the word suspended after his <laughs> yeah. name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who do you have? On yeah, your no, still going. <laughs> let's get uh let's get a little uh cooler here. What do you got on your cool throne? Uh my cool throne this week is OJ, aka original Justin or old Justin. Ah. And I think I think he's just I think he's just been doing meant, well. I thought you met the juice. <laughs> so, oh, <no>. yeah. <laughs> I, well he is the juice now. That's Justin's new nickname, is he's the juice. Um, but I think he's been doing well. Um, last night on the show was pretty good. When he hopped in with Ju- new Justin, I thought that kind of saved it a little bit. It still sucked. It was still pretty bad, but I like that. And then also big news: uh, Kirk's going to his barbecue. So that's always that's always good. So yeah, I think he's on the cool wow. this week. That's what he said on the show, right? Didn't he say he was going to his barbecue? I, I, thought, I, thought he made, I thought he made Steve and uh, Mike have to go. I didn't know he said. Oh, he is Kirk go. not going? I thought he said he was going. Maybe I, maybe I misheard that. But I'm running way, PAs. Steve, I'm running Mike, PAs for that. No, wait. Mike going to Justin's barbecue is like Kirk going to Justin. So that's a that's a win no matter what. Because Justin Justin's oh, like yeah. a yeah. He, he loves Mike. Yeah. I love barbecue. He's not gonna have to I can't wait because all that. you're no, invited to TJ. Just, it's Justin made it very clear. House. Oh, Justin nice. made it very clear nobody's touching the grill either besides him. Yeah, and no, you can't go in his grill house. You can't, you can't go in his house. Not even he said I could go. He said I could go in his house. Yeah, he said I could go too, actually. Is there any inclination of the physical location of this place? His grandfather that is not grandparents. Yeah, well, five thousand person. Mansfield that is where he's from. Fucking Seattle, I don't know Washington. Where. <laughs> he said he wants to do it around the like the day after the Wilbur or something like that. Uh, he, that's yeah. not what. He, that's not what the fuck. He, he wasn't asking when. He was asking w- w- where. Mansfield, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mansfield, near Mansfield. Yeah, All right. near Mansfield. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus, he, yeah. apparently he said a five thousand person capacity. So I mean, that's going to have to change if Kirk's going. I feel, that's but I think we'll be okay. That's a lot of pork. That's I think he knows, I think he knows uh, strippers too. So. Yeah, he does. Yeah, won't <laughs> no heroin addicts. Um, okay, Will, are you ready now? Or are you okay? Yeah, I'm Do good to go. To... I'm good to go. I'm good to go. Okay. Wait, hold on. Go ahead. Who's your hot seat? I'm not ready yet. I'm good to go. I'm not ready to I'm go. I'm just kidding. No, uh, my hot seat is uh, the the greatest caller that has called so far, Justin. Um, uh, he said that his dad went to jail for being a pirate of the little Mike and the Minutemans that I did watch. Does that mean his dad's a pirate? 
<laughs> yeah, I'm not sure like Somalian pirate or like DVD pirate or like. He then said he went to. About, he then said he went to Vegas at seven. And he goes, "What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas." It was wild. <laughs> the guy was nuts, man. He was. Uh, it was just an absolutely yeah, that, wild interview. That was it was the wildest interview I've seen in a while, and I I have no idea how to feel about it, but like. I don't know. But I is his dad a pirate? TJ, did you watch? Um, so you're talking about the interview Mike did last night? With yeah, yeah. The, 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 the certain fella here. Yeah, the one yeah. that described that his wife uh, got into porn at 17. Yeah. So, now, Phil, I know you. Wait a there, second. Try to find it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're probably get in trouble and thrown in jail. So. Yeah, well, They've on. already tried. You should have seen the hold YouTube on. chat. Oh Jesus! <laughs> oh, my um, God. It was led by Steve from Providence, actually. I think. But yeah, you're supposed to be modern. <laughs> no, that. Wait a second. Are you sure that wasn't DEC? Uh, <laughs> that was my guess. Burner. That was my guess. Yeah, DEC yeah. was the one with the tape. I don't think anyone well, knew like the 17 year old aspect of it. That was I don't even know if yeah, it's true. Yeah. I don't really yeah. even believe it to be honest. But the other I things think he kind of said that time. to get uh to get people to stop looking for his fiance's porn. I think that would be a good angle to take. But uh, get this what it's the Mina fans. I'm sure they'll find it soon enough. Um, who do you have for your cool throne? Uh, on my cool throne, I have uh, myself. I finally shaved. Awesome. Fucking um, awesome. We're the yeah, shit. We're the best. Alpha, alpha move. <laughs> what a fucking <laughs> alpha move. Oh, and uh, I was number one on the intern fame rankings. So. Oh, cool. Okay. By, who were those rank? Who, who ranked you? What are you talking about? Uh, Kirk. Uh, Kirk. Kirk. Number one in the fame rankings. So I must have missed that. I did I'm not hear that. that. There you go. Next up. All right, man. Phil, no, no, not listener to the show, Phil. <laughs> like, just, don't do me like that. Come on, they're gonna come after me now. <laughs> Phil's just, Phil's you're just, just trying to take the heat off your back, John. <laughs> you're too busy waiting at the Wilbur for blow. <laughs> uh, TJ, who do you have on? I know we kind of sprung this on you, but who do you have for your hot seat? Hot seat's gonna be Will. Thank you. <laughs> you're, you're in your own cold seat. I'm going to put you right in the fucking hot seat. One, um, you look hot like Princess Leia fucking from Return of the Jedi with those fucking better than on the side of your fucking head. And then two, hot seat because I think that's a fucking squire that's sitting behind you. That black squire. <laughs> it's right it's uh, fucking it's squire. It's, it's, it's not even a fender. Did, did you get that from like $25 from a fucking thrift yeah. store? Squire, yeah. What the fuck is that? Uh, squire? It really is. Was given to me. It was free ninety nine, so I just took it. Of and course it was. Whoa, whoa, whoa! So give me the brand. I like well, to know the it's brand. A squire. The squire. It is a squire. You, you got to call. Like I have day. fucking superhuman um, eyes. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah. No. I, I don't know how you did that, but yeah, it's a squire. All right. That was fucking amazing. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> have you have <laughs> you ever, I mean, number number three is have you ever played a guitar before? Yes. Okay. Uh, you know, Seven Nation Army. You know. No, I don't. <laughs> Song everybody learns. I, 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 I smoke on the water. No power chords and how to read tabs. <laughs> I'm my squire. That's it. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm cool throne. Cool throne. B A. What? You mean? Oh, cool throne's gonna be B A. Thank hey. you. Aaron him down right here. He likes Toronto. Um, he's a big fan of our show and big fan of Steve Providence and. You know, and yourself, and yourself. We appreciate the viewership, and uh, yeah, it's fucking great, great to be hanging out here. And um, I guess all you guys are on the cool throne tonight. So wow. nice, except Phil. Except nice. Phil yeah. I, I, no forgiving. <laughs> <you. laughs> so, now the transaction was that, the transaction was that we would we would get one of you or Steve, and BA got to go on your show. So maybe maybe in maybe in the future you might see yeah. BA on the yeah. OG Men of the Show. That'd be my dream. It's my lifelong dream. I think we're gonna have. Be- <laughs> <laughs> uh, Will is that a um, next light next to that guitar? <laughs> uh. Oh, yes. What's the opposite yeah. of a flashlight? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Kirk's yeah. Ass yeah. Ass. <laughs> there's also a yeah. There's also a full bottle of Adderall and um nice. and Astro Glide. No, what else oh, is yeah. it? Oh no, and, uh, hand sanitizer. You want to try hand sanitizer and Clorox wipes? Fucking chafing it all up. We're, nope. <laughs> Just water. I mean, have water-based lubricant right I in my. Can't camp. believe you didn't fucking close the deal up in Madawaska. It's aggravating. I had a girlfriend at the time, my friend. Yeah, right. Again, you can't say that and then have Blind Mike's groupie all over Blind Mike and then be like, no, he has a girlfriend. That should have happened. Sorry. Break the shoes. <laughs> all right. Fine. Sorry, yeah. I was oh, at the casino, by the way. I wasn't even there. In retrospect, <laughs> everybody in, in 2020 in hindsight. TJ, that's a saying. Hey, <laughs> I would have loved to have closed the deal. 
Yes, I got it. Up, uh, uh, in, up, and back. Yeah, I got it's, it. it's in the same. Hey, you know, it's in the same. Look, you talking about the shocker? You talking about the shocker? Years from now, when you're in fucking on your deathbed from those cancer sticks you're smoking, you're be like, damn, <laughs> I should have fucking closed the deal in Madawaska. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I think yeah. I, I think about that. I think that now. I it's steady, it. I think that was the night he caught eyes from Latino Kirk. There was a different yeah. person. Latino Kirk yeah, and steady, at. And steady is fucking hanging out Latino Kirk and Tim Ridgel. It's getting all fucked up. He could have been banging. <laughs> what oh my god! Um, <laughs> let's hop up to my hot sequel throne, and then we'll get into clout and uh, close out with a nice little promo for the guys coming on after us. Uh, my hot seat. Uh, I'm sorry that Phil did this too, but I'm going with BA. BA. Uh, we get you a spot on Mike and the Minifans for something that I thought was perfect. First week, fucking- doesn't show up. Texas is boss saying, I don't think I can make it because I have a Zoom Easter meeting. To be yeah, I had fucking family, <laughs> family Easter. commitments. Family comes first before Mike and the fucking Minifans. Good thing I'm good. If I was on there, there would be fucking six people on the first episode. Then I would have to talk to that that other guy, which that would have that could have gone one of two ways. So I don't know. But uh, yeah. next week, next week, if Mike still allows me, I will be the comment guy. Yeah, yeah. I, Fuck, I think, I'm on uh, everyone's just, hot seat and cool throne. This yeah, week. you just needed a little piggy yeah. slap there. For that. <laughs> I mean, it was a big role, and you just kind of blew it off. Um, and then the second, uh, for being a criminal, for well, like I said, me and Stephen Providence are trying to prove the crime that you committed, and it will come down on you soon. So uh, let's hop into Cool Throne. Um, I got Prison Blind Mike. Uh, Prison Blind Mike found a Riccio burner who had. Uh, how do I say it? Is it Riccio? That's how you say that name? Because I don't want to. I don't want to Francesca this. <laughs> Riccio, I think. Riccio. <laughs> yeah. Riccio. Um, so Prison Blind Mike, uh, you can find him on Twitter. Uh, found the Riccio burner. And he connected all the pieces. Um, and Riccio's burner just comes out like saying shit about Lauren Lynn, saying shit about Kirk, saying shit about Mike. It's everything that he found out is pretty good stuff. And uh, I, I don't know. I hope I hope some something more comes of this. I sent it to everybody I knew in my phone book about it. And I think it's going to be pretty good stuff. I think finding a Riccio burner is always a win. Um, my second cool throne, because I'm just going to do it that way. I got Pat and Lawrence. Poppy's Kitchens comes out this this week. Watch the Pat and Lawrence scene. It I is one of the funniest. I sent that. Steve, gotta get approved. I, I think. Yeah, I don't if know. It gets appro- I don't... Uh, uh, approval pending, but if it gets approved, Pat and Lawrence put on one of the best performances this YouTube show or our channel will see for a while. Once okay. people what? fought, once people see Pat from Lawrence, and I think TJ, you might have met him. He was on the yeah. Zoom yesterday. Um, yeah. yeah. Once uh, people see what Pat from Lawrence uh, is capable of, he's going to be a star. He's a fucking star. When when they told me uh, that Pat Lawrence had a segment on the show, I was like, "What's what's what's Pat Lawrence gonna do? Like rewired his dryer or something? Like that's what the, that's like." Pat Lawrence is the guy who sits in voice chat by himself at night, just like he's the man. Like he's the man, but like I didn't know what he could do. Like, and he no, he's a funny guy. He killed it. It's gonna be hilarious. Um, my cool throne is finished. Let's hop into clout. Um, Will, you're going first this time because of your performance during Hot Seat Cool Throne. Okay, uh, on the uh, Clout uh, Watch, uh, I've got the KMS Rundown. Uh, you guys talked about it earlier. They had some nice. technical difficulties. I'll bring in intern Nick. We can yeah, talk we're going to bring – we got, we a, got a guy later. right here. Uh, we're going to bring but, in intern Nick real but quick. Every, you know, every, every YouTube show has technical difficulties. You see the circle going around my my face. You know, it, it shit happen. Yeah. Uh, but he did yeah. a great job. Uh, one of the criticisms, I saw that it was long. Um, it's the first episode. Cares. It'll get it's shorter, and it's a YouTube show. You can watch That's it not what we do. Whatever you want. Yeah, yeah, we would never do that. We've been getting longer each week. <laughs> <laughs> this episode will probably be shorter in comparison. Everything. I don't it's know. Already, we're already running at like fifteen minutes. <laughs> All right, so you're getting not the to the rundown. I guess. Well, I'm, they're on the watch. They're on the watch. Okay, we'll they're on the watch. Uh, TJ, who do you have for clout? So basically, you could give clout to somebody or take clout away. And we need a number. I'm going to give clout to uh, the Quantum Week um, podcast. Okay. With, uh, How much okay, cool. Matt and uh, Chris. Um, for booking no purposes. reason that they're re- reviewing Temple of Doom, which is um, one of my favorite fucking Indiana Jones flicks, but uh, from 1984. I don't know if any of you fuckers were born at that time. Nope. 1990. I'm the oldest on the show. 91. So. 1999. Yeah. That is you're insane. You're 99. Pardon? Pardon? 99. <laughs> yeah. I said 99. 
That's insane, man. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Do you well, have- this is what we're dealing with, TJ. <laughs> you your father. Right. Yeah, I know. <laughs> You most know? most people most people on here can't. Except for the skin Fucking color. John could probably my beard. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm probably probably uh, more a BA's father than yours. But um, yeah, you, I could be your son. Steve's, I'll be your Steve's son. my dad. Steve's my dad. Right, let's let's think. Let's think. I love do, I love playing this fucking game. Um, and that's probably why that why, why I give clout to the Quantum Week podcast. It's like I like to think. Okay, what was I doing in 1999? I can say mm-hmm. I, that was three years after I went to a three day fish concert and fucking. Uh, New York, you know, you you weren't even. That's three years before you were born. You know, I pushed somebody over in a porta potty that day. Was well, that? that yeah. That's wild. Toga. Um, that was at uh, that was the Clifford Ball. Um, August sixteen through seven eighteen, nineteen ninety five. Uh, trying to think, Clifford Ball, what? Plattsburgh, New York. There it is. Plattsburgh. Okay, it's way up there. Fuck. Yeah, yeah. I remember. I remember. Uh, we we broke into a s- store um, somewhere in Vermont. <laughs> <laughs> Limitations. You're good. Two things happened. Um, you and fell in. The girl, I was with stole stole seven cases of booze. Um, we packed it in this little Dodge Omni. We could make it up the hills, but uh, somewhere through the pastures of Vermont, I remember um, the song uh, "That Smell" coming on. Ooh, that smell. Do you guys know what song? Yeah, yeah. 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 And it was through the fucking cow pastures and it stunk like shit. <laughs> wow, this is uh um it, it was amazing and it was three days of the best fucking times of my life. And I was your age, Phil. So whenever you get a chance to do this shit, put the fucking college down and do something because you're not gonna regret it. <laughs> do yeah. something for once. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm I'm gonna, go, gonna, go rob I'm gonna rob a for uh for, not something for, being for, don't right bother fucking globe anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have hop in for clout right here and give. I'm gonna give a hundred clout. I know I can't do that usually, but I'm gonna give a hundred clout for the guy that's hopping on right now. Um, yes, we'll bring. Well, bring him in. Oh, what the <laughs> my man. Steve looks like he's in. Steve looks like he's in witness protection. TJ, yeah, TJ, you can you can work. be. <laughs> TJ, you can be BA's dad because Steve looks dark enough to be my dad at this point. <laughs> yeah. <It'd be. laughs> TJ, uh, what are you wearing around your neck? Something to catch big cats uh, low up? <laughs> well, Phil, Phil is from India, and I don't want to catch any of his fucking bullshit. So, well, there no, you go. Right Phil's there. from Massachusetts, for the record. Southern oh. Mass. <laughs> Phil, would that, would, Phil, would you just say, Phil, that I'm dark enough to be your dad? I'm not into, uh, I'm not into uh, pipe bombs or anything like that. I don't know why you throw that. <laughs> How'd you how'd you even start listening to Kirk Minahan show? Would you think it was a uh, a podcast about pressure cookers or something like that? Holy shit, shit man! Uh, Yo, Steve from Providence, we're doing uh, we're doing cloud points. You want to give clout to anybody? You want to take cloud away from anybody? Or you want to do a hot seat, cool throne while we have you here? It's do nice to have you here, buddy. The whole, this is a whole crossover well, I figured, right I'm here. On, I got 10 minutes on, uh, before my break is up. I figured I'd see what you guys were up to. Uh, TJ blew me off to come on here tonight, which is fine. fine by me. He's a, <laughs> TJ's all about the views. So whatever you guys want to do, I'm up for it. I'm, I'm <laughs> the bad guy. Excuse me. <laughs> whatever you guys want. What are we doing then? What are, who are, who I'm are doing, we're, we're doing, I'm going to have a smoke. Yeah. Break. Who do I want to take clout yeah, we're, from? I want to take clout from... Uh, uh, penis head Chris because I had up this awesome uh, avatar of him fucking a chicken and then he, he DM'd me asking me if I could take it down because it would possibly affect his job finding tactics. Really? So I'm gonna take yeah job so I'm gonna, I'm gonna is that how he, he, he phrased it as well? Job finding tactics? Uh, he said that he was possibly looking for a new job and and uh, even though he's probably overthinking it it might affect it. So I said, all right, no problem. I thought it was now that he weird. didn't get the Kirk job, he's probably shooting his resume out everywhere because yeah. you so know I'm gonna, to apply So there. I'm going to take that. Uh, as far as giving clout to anyone, uh, I mean, I'm going to have to give give clout to maybe Phil for wrecking Blobe's asshole over this past week. <laughs> I mean, I thought that was pretty bad. I felt bad for the guy that he had to, had to uh, take down his Twitter account. He must have been pretty affected by it. I feel yeah. bad for him though. He's There's back. been a lot that's going on. I don't know. I feel yeah, bad, he's back I now, so it, it's good to see him back. That's um, good. 
Uh, Steve, wait, wait, Steve wait. it's good to have you. We're doing a hot seat, cool throne, but um, let's let's do this. Phil, give no, me your uh, give me your clock yeah. first. You're just rattled. Well, I know we're doing this. We, we no, I said I know we're not doing hot seat. Cool. I know that, guys. Thank you for helping out. <laughs> um, Phil, give me your clout, and then we're gonna go to Steve's hot seat, cool throne. Uh, yeah. So I was gonna take away minus five clout from the YouTube chat. I know BA loves the YouTube chat, but um, Justin told me that there's this one guy on there who just like goes on every live show and he just tries to get in whoever's on's head Matt and just, he just yeah 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 and he just he just like says random shit and he, he actually succeeded he got in my head pretty quickly because I was pretty rattled throughout the entirety of Mike and the Middle fans um, mm-hmm. but it's annoying and stop. No, you gotta this fuck is, with this him. Is from Justin. You gotta fuck with Matt Dumbass. That guy's an idiot. You gotta just say Matt Dumbass, go fuck yourself. That's what I did no, when I was on Mike in the minute. You can't feed into it. You can't oh, feed into it. You don't when do I that. was on, I just said fuck you, and then just didn't it. <laughs> <laughs> BA, let's let's uh let's jump up to you. Who do you have for club? Me quick. Um I'm gonna just do uh sorry, Steve. Did you say something? No, that was me. TJ was just picking up his trulies. He's a he's a company guy. Yeah, you're right. That might be a big cap. Well, he's looking for the big cap bump, so <laughs> no free ads. <laughs> um, what is, what is my? Uh, I'm just gonna. I'll do quick. Uh, make it quick because I'd rather hear Steve from Providence talk than me. Um, uh, the blog, the Minifan blog, we'll put on the Clout Watch. Whoever created it, he looks seems like an idiot. But then a lot of people can't write on there, and doesn't seem pretty good. But who knows? What it might it might turn out to something. <laughs> um so let's do this steve we have uh we had tg on pretty much the whole episode uh you, you the floor is yours anything you want to say get off your chest say to us say to he the ripped world, you anything. apart he was ripping you apart steve so will and then comment please no, I, I, I don't have to rip anyone apart i'm phil i'm only playing with you i'm I love sure you that too. you I'm sure the parents are proud as they were sneaking into this country. The the, the most important <laughs> thing to them was that their son was someday going to be on the Minso and so. Yeah. God bless him. <laughs> You're right, Steve. Um, oh, and, any so. comment on whether Will looks like Princess Leia or not? Because... I'm just I do. Well, the only thing that I that I want to say about any of the interns is with Justin. I want to see how thin that rope was that he tried hanging himself. <laughs> that only gets me a little bit curious. You think it was thin? Oh. I it probably was thin. He's as big, big boy, as though. he is, he should have went for a tow cable or something like that. <laughs> but, <laughs> Chain. I'm oh, always fucking shit. around. I'm shit. always fucking around. Oh, we know you. Are. Yeah, we know. I'm just you playing. Remember, uh, Steve from Providence, do you remember the movie Cobra when the guy's hanging at the end? Marion Cobretti, yes, I do. Yes, Great of movie. course. Yeah, that, that's what he should have used. Except, yeah, you know, actually, that, Justin was pretty light about it. Um, he, he said his favorite DM he got was... Uh, uh, you should have used steel wire. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> well, true. You know, <laughs> let's quadruple down was, on this. So he was thinking, he was Steve thinking of, from the OG Mina fan show is giving uh, Justin from the uh, intern show a nickel's worth of advice on the men's L Intel. What a fucking seven degrees of separation there. Yeah. Wow. Fucking <laughs> nuts. Justin's a, Justin's a great guy. Justin's a great guy. I'm only fucking yeah, around. yeah, yeah. Justin's yeah. a great guy. Yeah, yeah, nice tell guy. a couple of jokes. Justin, uh, man. And get I like Justin but, more than Will. But fuck Phil, right, Steve? Me too. Big, yeah, big fuck Phil. <laughs> Phil's a good guy. I like him. Steve's, Steve's no the problems. biggest Phil guy there is. No, yeah, no yeah there, that's just... actually true. Phil, I got to real quick though. I don't see anything in the background. Where do you park your camel when you come on the fucking? <laughs> <laughs> we keep it out front, right next to right next to blind Mike sneakers. Right next to his truck. On my fucking lawn. Right. I'm always boy. I'm always, I gotta get what get the asshole is. is. I'm always fucking around with you, Phil. You know I love you. So, guys, that's hey, the preview of the uh, fan show. That's why Steve from Providence's face is all dark, though, because he can, so he, he can never get it back to him, all the comments. Yeah, so just, oh, <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Remember, no, say, no say means no. to my no. face and I'll put my ring on. <laughs> no means no. <laughs> No means hey, no we, means ta- we already remember. talked about that. We already talked just, about you. that. You know? Just because before they're asleep, we uh, th- just because they're asleep doesn't mean that they were willing to participate. Right? <laughs> before uh, yeah, before we don't know. before we get out of here, I, I yeah. have two things to say to you. One is thank you for taking part in the spelling bee that we've been having. Uh, I thought you did a great job in there. All right, no, uh, on the voice chat. And then two, uh, we I, I did mention earlier in the show that me and you are coming down on BA for the uh, the crime that he committed. That that, There's uh, no proof. I think he should. 
there's, 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 there's no this group. is false allegations. It's, false a, it's allegations. amazing that the, the, he he thinks that the best part of a date is when the girl passes out. Uh, <laughs> the, fucking, that, I never I said that. That's that. So so comical. <laughs> but, hey, I gotta get back to work. I gotta get back to work. The organ for being able to snore. Hey, thanks for coming out. Steve. Hey, Steve. Steve thanks. Guys. See you later, Steve. No, Thank you. Um, all right, guys, listen, before we hop out of here, I have two things. Uh, first, I want to uh, mention Quantum Week comes on after this. I know TJ brought them up. Uh, make sure you guys pay attention to them because I think they're doing something pretty cool. It's something new. It's different. Um, and they're good dudes. So, uh, even though whatever Kirk says about them, they're good dudes. Uh, it's a good show too. I know, I know a couple people really like that show and that show only, but, uh, second thing is let's bring in, uh, let's bring him in. Cause we got to say good job to him. What's good up? Job, Nick. Oh, hi. Am I on? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Nick, no. We just yet, you to come yet. in. Uh, Hey, uh, I'm huge. I'm a huge fan. I'll shut up and listen. Just one thing real quick, guys. Uh, uh, plus 10 cloud points. To the Mincel Incel, because it's by far the best show on YouTube. <laughs> you didn't uh, say thanks. the name right. Bye, <laughs> uh, <laughs> guys. Bye, Nick. Oh, thank you. Nick. Uh, Donald Trump. Nick. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my favorite. I don't even watch the Mincel Incel. I only watch the OG Minahan, Minifan. So oh, that was wrong. wrong. You, yeah, you're the biggest commenter we have. Okay, that's a lot. Yeah, I know. I watch a lot of the shows, but oh, the OG Mana fans is my favorite. So. Well, well, I can tell you, yeah. this, this week's has been delayed. Delayed. Oh, really? Yeah, <laughs> it's, it. it's, it's tough out there in the field. We, we both have one of these letters that says uh, straight from the Department of Treasury oh, that um, our jobs are essential. Oh, I got one, um, too. Yeah, I, have one. I serve ice cream. And um, give yeah. hand jobs in back alleyways. So those are essential services. <laughs> well, I mean, oh, right. I mean, there's food and then there's you. I mean, that's and breathing free. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, that is the same. You know, that's that's the worst thing about this whole COVID thing is that it's not so much, you know, people losing their jobs. Think about the prostitutes. Yeah. <laughs> I, that's I what mean, I, yeah, that's I think all I'm that. thinking about. That's all I'm thinking about. You, 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 can't, even, you can't even get a lap dance. Yeah, fucking mm -hmm. COVID, you know, it pays more to sell your nudes on Snapchat nowadays, anyways. Yeah, that's, that's so sad. Learned, learned, yeah, that's so sad. Somebody about OnlyFans, too. Uh, we're not gonna plug that in there, but uh, whatever. Uh, new we'll Justin, um, yeah. So we'll let's it. let's do a little roundabout here before we get out of here. Will you have any last words? <laughs> a roundabout, uh, a roundabout. <laughs> yeah. a roundabout. Round oh, I like that. A little roundabout, round the <laughs> Let's have TJ finish us off this time too. Let, yeah, let's let yeah. TJ finish us off. Uh, <laughs> Toss it down to uh to TJ. And he'll, 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 oh, he's finishing us off, Will. Yeah, he's gonna finish uh, us off. So what do you have? What do I have? Why do you have a, a pen and pad? Okay, never mind. Um because no, I, notes about I, I, I thought we had a, a I thought it was a good show today. Uh thank you so much, TJ, for coming on. Uh Steve, thanks for coming on. Thanks for, co thanks for coming on. Um, yeah, that's about it. That's all I got. Cool. Cool. Thanks, Will, for that. Um, BA, what do you got? I'm gonna say, I, uh, I'll kind of uh, uh, say what Will said, but a little bit nicer and in a Canadian accent. But TJ, uh, TJ, mm -hmm. Steve, and Nick, fucking awesome, awesome guys. Uh, I, I think uh, this really bridges the gap between the OGs and uh, us fucking idiots like Phil and John and myself. And uh, uh, we love you guys, and I uh, and uh, really appreciate you uh, spending an hour with us. So that was, that was awesome. Phil, um, thank you, BA. You're the best. Uh, Phil, any threatening letters you want to send out before we get out of here? Like he was yeah, the, yeah. Thank you, TJ. Thank you, Steve. Uh, fuck you, Nick. You called us the Mincel Incel Show, so I won't forget <laughs> that. Um, th thank you to all of the people who I, I guess supported me on Twitter. I don't like that it was turned into what it did, but I like to see that there were some people who had my back when I felt like I was attacked. So that was nice. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really it. All right, thank you, Phil. Uh, TJ, any last words for all right for the last world? words? Well, first of all, thanks for having me on um, to discuss. Well, discuss anything, but uh, certainly the first subject of the of the night. Um, in regards to that, like, just remember this whole world. It's just you know, it's fucking fun. It's supposed to be fun, guys. Um, and if it gets too serious, take a step back, yeah, and, and take a look at it because. If it's too serious, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, just it don't really, take it seriously. You guys are all young. 20 mm -hmm. years from now, you're going to have kids. You're going to be like, what the fuck is going on? I missed out <laughs> on the strip clubs. God damn it. <laughs> so, or or you missed out on Madawaska, Will. Um, yeah. I'll repeat that several times. 
And it's so funny. I didn't even notice until Lawrence um, Lynn said something to me. He's like, "Do you see that girl giving fucking Will the eyes?" And I was like, "Holy shit, you're right." Oh, you were talking about missing out. Oh, Phil had missed out on the the show because of the weather. His parents didn't let no, him. No, he was talking about no, you. No, 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 oh, no, 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 no. Don't fucking don't we're fucking spin zone here. here. Don't, sp- well, don't spin zone me here. Don't Will. spin you zone fuck. this fucking shit. You fuck. All right, <laughs> this is you. This is on you. Yep, that's no, that's all right. right. That's all right. right. People, and and that's the other thing too. People make mistakes. You, you think that she'll? Still if you just admit to those mistakes, the world becomes a better place. All right, I admit to that mistake. Do you think she'll be working there next year? Ooh. Well, it's Madawaska, probably. Yeah, I mean, yeah. people yeah. really get out of Madawaska, or like, I mean, fuck else are you gonna work? <laughs> you know. Yeah. Like we got yeah. she doesn't work peel, she, there. She'll work across the street. Fucking picking potatoes out of the ground. In a long game. My my yeah. final my final final question of the night would be Phil, have you ever tasted your own semen? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's a lie. Okay. That's a lie. That's a lie. Right, okay. Unless it's on a chicken patty, then you broke you oh, broke one off your eyebrow. Yeah. Don't worry. Um, all right. Last thing I got to say is thank you to all the, well, I mean, we had about 45 guests on the show tonight, so I'm not going to name them each by each, but I will. Uh, thanks, TJ. You killed it. Uh, thanks, Steve, for hopping in. That was last minute. Uh, thanks, Nick, for hopping in because Will made you. Um, other than that, we want peace. I think everybody could take an example that we can have peace. Uh, other And other than that, peace. All right. Bye, guys. Thanks, guys.